Now then, people, welcome back to the Just Your Football Show, and it's time for some more title talk. This is becoming a weekly segment now with me and everyone's favourite Leicester City fan. No, it isn't Gary Lineker. It is my mate Lachlan. How are you doing, Mr. Lock? She got back to winning ways. And what an emotional roller coaster you went on because as I was doing the game, the bald fraud that I am, <laughs> as I was <laughs> doing the game, there was WhatsApps coming through from you. Sack him, get him out. How are you feeling now, bro? Um, I like Walker's Chris, by the way, just as much as Carolina. So, uh, <laughs> They're good, um, Chris, man. Yeah, yeah, cheese and onion for me, mate. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I'm still where I'm at. I st I'm still where I was at two days ago, you know, in, in terms of Enzo and um, his lack of, well, he, he just being unwilling to make changes and to make tweaks here and there. I think, you know, I was a big supporter of Enzo ball as, as it's being coined by Leicester fans. Uh, I was a big supporter all season when, even when we were winning game after game after game, there were fans out there saying, Oh, it's boring. It's all this. And I'm saying, look like, just look at the results. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's at the end of the day, that results are all that matters. If we were like a, if we were just a mid-table Premier League team, mate, and we didn't really have a chance of going down, there were not much chance of going up uh, or of winning trophies. Then you, I suppose, it's the case of you can maybe argue about the style of football and being yeah, entertained. It's boring but, uh, to watch, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. it's what happened with Claude Puel, mate. Claude Puel had his mid-table in the Premier League, you know, and he got sacked because fans weren't happy with the style of football. Um, right now, it's about results. And earlier in the year, we were winning games, and obviously, that's not been happening recently, which is why I think. Um, that's uh, it's at that point you need to change things, right? When you're not winning any games yeah. of football, uh, and he and he hasn't changed it. But you know, credit where credit due, mate. We did win, we did win, um, and we did look good, to be honest with you. Um, but it's just where it's just following that up. You know, we have to follow it up with a similar performance. And I know it's not all on the manager; the performance is also on the players. But mm -hmm. the manager's got the ability and and um, got the power to to get the team ready, you know, for match day. So um, yeah. So, obviously, you won, mate, and you look good doing it. Let's be honest. I know Norwich scored first. They caught you napping, etc. but you look good doing it. You know, Dewsbury Hall was better, you know, more like his true self, I think. And Diddy was really good. Great to have him back in the side. Pereira mm. was better than Hamza Chowdhury, etc. So, you know, you look pretty strong. You've got some easier fixtures coming up, Birmingham and Millwall. Are you looking now with renewed hope? Like, where do you stand? Because ultimately, Ipswich have kept coming, mate, and 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 it's a free horse race now. Southampton had done, aren't they? You would imagine yeah, yeah, Southampton yeah. had done. So, yeah. where's your head at with your promotion? Because I'm listen. I've said we'll win the title. And now I'm looking at it thinking, oh, it's like we need some to slip up. And I know you. I genuinely think you'll pick six points up from the next two. Well. I mean, I've, I've said this so many times this season, but I, I've, I've used the same line. I've said, if we're a serious team, we'll do this. If we're a serious team, we'll do that. It was like the Norwich game. You know, when we when we scored the equaliser, I was like, if we were a serious team, we'd go for the jugular here. And we, to be fair, we didn't actually do it as soon as we scored. We kind of went back to how we had been earlier in the game. And so there was another complaint from me yesterday. But um, if if we're a serious team, I think we, we need nine points out of... Birmingham, Millwall, and Plymouth. I think we need. Oh, I think is that need, your next three? They're our next three. Mate, that's nine points, easy as you like. Although Plymouth it's, have just sat the manager, aren't they? So you never know. That, yeah, exactly, mate. It's. I, I mean, I'm seeing fans say, you know, the, the Millwall game. Obviously, Millwall away. That's not an easy game. And Plymouth, you know, new manager bounce, maybe. I get all of that. But again, I'll say the same line again. If we're a serious team with serious and we and we are serious about getting promoted at first time of asking, let alone winning the league, you have to win all three games. And you know, I've seen other Leicester fan. I mean, one of my the people on, on Leicester fan TV channel, Jamie, um, who you, you've been on the show with before. Yeah, yeah. He's he's always as long as I've known him, a few years now, he's always said, you know. In your win your home games, draw your away games at the very yeah. least, and I th I don't think that's good enough at this stage of the season. We've had our blip, we've had our blip. I want to see Leicester win every game this season. You know, the, the, every single remaining game. Personally, I think that's the only chance of actually winning the title, because I think Leeds are going to win all but maybe one, 
of of really? their games. I do think that. Um, so we know Ipswich are going to be relentless. You know, they might drop points here and there. but Norwich at the weekend, bro. Norwich at yeah, the weekend's the big, big one. Game, if they come big... through that, then I'm like, oh, God, they're going to win them all. Yeah, win. exactly. Because, you know, if there's any team in the league that want to say, ego Ipswich, like, yeah, I'll yeah. have this, it's them. You know, if yeah. they can have a say in stopping Ipswich from getting, going up, then it's going to be them. So that that is a banana skin for them. Um but yeah, mate, I think we need nine points. And if we don't get nine points from the next three, then I will I, I will rule out the title completely. I know I've already said, you know, I've already ruled out the title, but I would like are completely you, say doors are closed. Are you like, mate, on at this point, are you like me earlier on in the season? You're not even bothered for the title. It's just about getting in the top two, right? <laughs> yeah, which is crazy because I, I think like six months ago, I said I'm not even bothered about the title. I'm only bothered about the points record. <laughs> 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 um. But you know you've got it's, it's what happens, mate. You know things. Come Life to of a football ask. fan, bro. Listen, yeah. if we if we do not go up, there is so much clippable, retweetable bookmarks on me, mate. So I'll go and hide him for a few weeks. Don't worry about that. It is what yeah, it is. Yeah, and and if LUFC Lewis is watching this, I've got a few of your bookmarks. <laughs> <on this point. laughs> uh, but um. Because he's been getting Larry. Um, but yeah. no, it's uh it's um yeah, like it's it's that's football for you. Yeah, I think you know you have to you have to get promoted and then you know if it comes down to the final day and then we're fighting for the you've title. Got Blackburn, eh? You got Blackburn. Yeah, and you've as got well. yeah, exactly in South you know, got you've Saints. got Southampton. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying though, like these these but these are banana skins because like again, if Saints You've are got to play in, Southampton as well, right? We have, yeah, we have, yeah, we have. Because... I think it's worse for you because I think it's yeah, the last day last of the year. season. If they're already, you know, they're guaranteed playoffs, or I don't think mathematically they are, but they will be. And um, and then if you have to win for the title, Southampton might be like, right, let's, you know, let's. Yeah, yeah, we didn't, yeah, we yeah. didn't get it, so let's stop these from getting. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? So, yeah. so that's what that's what football. And I think you know the people will say the players don't care, but I think they really do. So, um, yeah, I. I I don't care about the title now. It's it's top two, and it's going to be so hard. Top two is going to be so hard in itself. Oh um, I, I think I still think Ipswich and Leeds are the favourites for top two. I don't think Leicester are favourites for second place. I don't. Who's your game in hand against, bro? Southampton. Is that the one? And that it, is the game in hand. How do you feel about Sky putting it like so late on in the the fixture as well? Like they've you've got it. Is it your third game before the end or something like that? Uh, it is. It is twenty third of April, so the third to yeah. last game. And yeah, and then we played on the fourth of May, right? So yeah, so so we've got obviously Birmingham, Millwall, Plymouth, and then it's yeah. West Brom, Southampton, Preston, Blackburn. Yeah, them three yeah. there, them are With... difficult, man. West Brom, Southampton, Preston's quite difficult. Which is exactly why I'm saying you need to get nine from nine the next points. three. You yeah, have yeah. to. Because yeah. West, Bro yeah, West again, West Brom, mate. You know, Carlos, even Carlos, Carlos probably wants Leeds to go up. You know, so yeah, he, 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 he might, you know, in, in the back of his mind somewhere, yeah. he might, he, he prefer Leeds to go up over Leicester, maybe. So, um, so he might want to have a say in it. So, you know, it's it's just going to be relentless now. There's so many games in such a short amount of time. I mean, I've just I've got the fixtures in front of me, and I, even I'm yeah. like, I can't believe there's that little left. You know what I, I mean? So mad, mad. it is mad, and we've got one more than you, you lads. So yeah. like, it's even. You know what I mean? It's crazier. Yeah. So, mate, yeah. list off. Uh, can you see mine in front of you there? If no, you I can mind. get it up though. I can get. Yeah. I can get it up. Yeah. yeah. And just listen. Uh, I think we got Coventry next, and then I'm so sure. Leeds. Yeah, yeah. Um, there we go. So Leeds have got uh, Coventry, Sunderland, Blackburn, Middlesbrough. QPR Southampton. Can I just say, by the way, the pundits on the TV last night after the the Leeds the Leeds game, Snodgrass. Yeah. Snodgrass said that um, he'd much rather Leeds his fixtures out out of the three. I think Leeds. I, I think Leicester's are probably easier than Leeds, mate. Looking at those fixtures, I think we have got a better run than you guys. That front three are, but I don't like mm, West Brom, Southampton. Preston, I think them three are difficult, but the, we we have some difficult ones as well. You could argue Middlesbrough, Sunderland beat us earlier on in the season, but they've been terrible of late. They got battered 5-1 by Blackburn. That's yeah. not great. So I think we can beat them in all honesty, uh, especially at home. The key thing for us, mate, we, we keep winning at home. Like, I don't, did yeah. you watch the game yesterday? I did, I did, yeah, yeah I we, did. We weren't great, uh, to be honest, and then I bet you're looking at it, licking your lips, thinking, oh, Huller on top of you, which they were, bro. I was and licking my lips at the Somerville uh, incident. 
I was licking my lips. Oh, that, I know, thinking, right, yeah, mate? Yeah, yeah, what yeah, did yeah, you yeah. make to that? Are you thinking, oh, what are you doing or what? Well, Farker said, obviously, that it's because he's protecting Perot his come players, off. isn't he? I think yeah. he's protecting his players. Um, because yeah. he said before, if Pirro's on the pitch, he's our first taker. That's why Pirro was like going, no, it's it's me. He's he's said that in public. So I think he's protecting Somerville. I think they'll have had a word behind the scenes that says, right, maybe not do that. Or say to Somerville, you're the main guy now. So it stops that. I don't know. Yeah, we. I mean, we've seen that type of incident in football yeah. loads of times before. I think it doesn't really matter if you score it at the end of the day. If if you'd have missed it, there's there's problems that um, people are going to talk about. But he scored, so it doesn't really matter. So mm-hmm. I think it's fine now. I I don't I, I don't think it's even worth deeping deeping it. I think no. if he missed, then there's a discussion about kind of yeah. the conduct and stuff. But yeah, it doesn't really matter now, mate. To be honest. Mm-hmm. What about Dan James as well, mate? He was no, getting he was getting pelters from the whole fans singing "You've Let Your Country Down," um, and then obviously he scores that wonder strike, so that'll do his confidence great. Yeah, mate. To be fair, like, yeah, very good goal. I because people say, "Oh, it was an, it was an open goal." No, no. no to, you no, know what I mean? To I, hit the targets hard from there, bro. That pace it is absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There, there's some players that would would do the hamstring just trying to yeah. just trying to I, I wouldn't even get it to the goal you know it it just like <laughs> rolled <laughs> p roller yeah yeah, yeah um yeah great finish mate what a way to yeah. shut up the uh shut up the, the yeah, way exactly. i heard them saying um uh whole city reader i didn't even know he started his youth career at yeah, until yeah, I, I heard he did. that yeah 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 he did so um, there. I've, I've always loved dan james mate i've oh, I've always loved that when 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 he was at united and he he i, I don't even want to say flopped hard because like what did you expect him to do but um I was like, oh, Leicester, go for him, go for him. And obviously you get mm. the usual people saying, oh, he's crap, he's rubbish and all this. But championship player, mate, you won't get many better in no. terms of proper championship player. I mean, when he was at Swansea, when he was younger, mate, I used to love because yeah, yeah. my, my uh, sister's husband's uh, uh, bro- brother-in-law. Is that a brother-in-law? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> brother-in-law. He's, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's, a, he's a Swansea fan. And so he used to always, when he was like, when he first came to Swansea and stuff, he'd rave about him. So I used to mm-hmm. watch him and think, that is the quickest player I've ever seen. Yeah, I used yeah. to love watching him. So, and obviously, you know, Wales and all that. Um, so yeah, I am a fan of Dan James. Yeah, yeah. But he, yeah. he's, um, you know, it's always nice to see a player prove people wrong. And he's proved a few Leeds fans are wrong, obviously. Prove me wrong as well, mate. Yeah. The test will come in the Premier League, but listen, Daniel Farker's done wonders with him, and I think him scoring that goal will have will have done wonders. I, do you know what? I feel bad doing this without without an Ipswich fan, but Benjamin Bloom's a busy guy all the time, and I, I think it's unfair for us not to talk about Ipswich when we're talking about the title, because um, they're top of the tree, mate. That goal, man, I could not believe it. 96 minutes. The guy that they got on loan from Brighton who'd had an initial loan at West Brom, he comes off the bench, Samiento scores. Do you know when they went down to 10 men, though, I thought, yeah, they're going to win this now. And and they did, man. It's just what they do, isn't it? Ipswich are the, like, the team, or a team that if, if you were a neutral and you had no other oh, invested yeah. interest, yeah, yeah, yeah. you it would be absolutely yeah. buzzing with yeah, what yeah. they're doing. But when it when we're involved, it's hard to get on, you know, to enjoy. It. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, no, of course. it's like, I, I fucking I hate them. I hate yeah, them. So, I hate them yeah. just because of you know, like don't <laughs> get me wrong. You know, any other. I mean, we could say this about Leeds, Leicester, or Ipswich. Yeah. Any other, even Southampton, any other league, any other season. You know, you're going up. It's it's guaranteed yeah, pretty much. Um, but just to for what they're doing. It feels like every week. It feels like mm. every week. And I know people, including Benjamin Bloom, I know he'll have a big problem with me calling it luck and all this because yeah, yeah, yeah. at, at some point it happens so much, you've got to say, well, it's not luck anymore because it happens so much. But they just, someone always seems to go their way, you know, whether it's a deflection, whether it's, yep. you know, a red card or whatever, and or, you know, poor defense, poor, poor defending from the opposition. And, you know, um, yeah, when when Southampton scored their second yesterday, I thought, oh yeah, here we go, nice one. Mm. You know, Southampton could get a third or fourth, whatever. Yeah, I thought that, bro. Yeah, and I think if they did get a third, it might have it might have been curtains, but mm. you know, it just wasn't to be, mate. They're really starting to like they're really pissing me off big time. Yeah. I absolutely can't stand it now at this point. So, um, you know, if Leicester don't go, up, wait, if Leicester don't go up, it's going to be Ipswich anyway. You know, um. It, I, I would have rather Ipswich go up than Southampton, let's say, you know, because because mm. of the story behind it. But yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, it is amazing annoying. what they've done, and, and Kieran McKenna's destined for the Premier League, or at least will be given an opportunity if it, Ipswich don't go up, because he's done a he's done a fantastic job. Do you Just think he would at... go somewhere if if Ipswich, if, let's say, end up in the playoffs? Season, yeah. yeah. If you, you don't, think so, you up... think someone will go for him? Yeah, yeah. I think I think Crystal Palace would have gone for him had Roy Hodgson made it till the end of the season, but he didn't right. really brought that other guy in because he was poorly, right? So. I, I think there'll be a few clubs that'll look at him and say, yeah, yeah, he's English, you know. Is he English or is he Scottish? I couldn't tell when I was listening to him speak yesterday. Do you know what? Man. I'm just going to check this, man. I'm going to check this. Oh, he's Northern Irish. Northern Let me apologise. Let me apologise, people. They'll be going mad. Uh, he's Northern I thought Irish, I heard a bit of... Uh... I mean, it kind of it gives me PTSD because of Brendan Rodgers, mate. <laughs> Definitely. Um, but they've got Norwich, mate. They haven't... I don't think they've beaten them for nine years. They haven't won at Carroll Road for even longer. You've got to hope that. They've got Watford, who, our point don't look too bad now because they haven't been beaten since Cleverley's gone in there. Uh, they've got Middlesbrough. They're away at Hull. They're away at Coventry. And then they finish the season at Huddersfield. What do you make mm. to their fixtures, mate? <sighs> Who's it's the iffy. Favorite? Who's the favourite? If you had to put your money now, you had to put your chips somewhere... Who out of us three is the favourite? You can say, yeah, that's where the majority of my chips are going on to get promoted. For the title? No, just to get promoted. Oh, Leeds. Leeds. Even still, when you've got a game in hand on us. Over Ipswich yeah, yeah. as well. I think, I think the, I, in my head, the, the favourites are Leeds and Ipswich, mate. I do. I, I truly really? believe that. If Leicester go and win two games now on the bounce, so three, 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 let's say, if we win the next two, then I will start to say, all right, clearly the blip is completely over. We've yeah. we've we've got our we've got our shit together. We're back to where we were at, you know, three months ago, four months ago. We are now probably the favourites to even win the title. If 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 we if if they prove to me that, you know, and all the other Leicester fans that you know they they've got the shit together again, then I think Leicester fans will slowly kind of um gain the trust and, and the faith back because at the minute i mean before the game yesterday mate it was rock bottom for leicester fans really in terms of we we, we were at our absolute worst you know this season so um for now though i am still i am still fancying leeds and ipswich over leicester because i just think if we're capable of you know we're, we're clearly capable of being really really shit like we're capable mm. of that you know the last few games may have been absolute, like it, it's been awful. Um, the the one game we did win in in that in that bad run was Sunderland, and even that, I mean, I think you watched it. It it, it wasn't a good performance from Leicester at all. So, yes, people will say the reason for our bad form is we've missed so many poor chances. I mean, you saw the game against Bristol City, Jamie Vardy, how he missed three mm. chances. One of them was, you know. You would have put every single thing you own on Vardy scoring that, right? So people will blame poor chances, uh, sorry, poor finishing for for the bad run, and I understand it a little bit. But again, you're clearly not creating enough of the clear cut chances if you're not scoring that many goals. So, yeah. so yeah, for now, mate, my money's on Leeds over everyone, um, and then it's probably Ipswich. But but we're very close. I, I put us, you know, I put us probably. To be fair, probably on par with Ipswich at the moment. Even though Ipswich are above you, I just think you'll win more games, win more points. It's, it's mad I'm going to say this, but based on the next three, I think at the minute, I don't know why, but these Easter fixtures have have, have shaken me up a little bit. I can't lie to you. Um, really? So I think, yeah, they have. Just a little bit. I'm a little bit like, ooh. Because, Ips, yeah, I thought, I didn't see Ipswich getting six points. I didn't. I think we dropped points against Watford. I, I still think we've done all right. We've got four points, not too bad. Um, but the yeah. way I would look at it, mate, is is, is the is the the draw against Watford and the you know average performance last night yeah. is is that a is that your blip? You know what I mean? That's if you get what I mean, because yeah, yeah, is yeah, is yeah. that like a kick? Up, is that now a kick up the arse? You know, maybe mm. Farker and the players are like, well. We, yeah. We've not been good enough there, but we've got away yeah. with it. Let's let's kick yeah. on. So that's a sign that could... of a good good team, in it. Yes, that's a sign of a good team. Because that was like Leicester sure. early in the season, mate. We were we were putting in some dodgy performances and coming up with wins yeah. and everyone, you know, and including myself. You know, that's how you win titles, obviously. Mm. Poor performances and still getting the wins, yeah. and and it catches up with you, which is what I think has actually happened with Leicester, mate. Yeah. I think what's happened with Leicester is 
we've put in a lot of average performances this season. And I think it's mm. caught up with us where other, the other teams have taken their chances and we haven't. And then that's, yeah. you know, they're the margins basically either way. Um, so I think now it's, hopefully it's given us a kick up the arse, but I'm still not convinced, but we'll 100%. see. All right, mate. Well, with the uh, weekend uh, soon come, obviously Norwich play Ipswich on Saturday. How do you see that one going, mate? What's your What's your hopes for it? Well, <laughs> I, think, I think Norwich beat them. I'm going to go for a Norwich win, mate. They were terrible against massive. you, by the way. They were terrible against you, Norwich. I was disappointed Look, by their tactics. Yes. Although, what I would say is... I think the way we play sometimes makes teams look shocking, Rubbish. mate. I yeah, do. Yeah, because you look at Leeds in that game we had against each other recently where for 80 minutes we made you look pretty average, right? No, we that's did. Fair. Yeah, yeah. And other games, I mean South we played Southampton where we we smashed them basically. It wasn't it was 4-2 I think we beat them earlier in the season. From that game they went on and won 20 uh, they went unbeaten in what 21 games, 22 games, something like that yeah, after yeah. that. So they clearly weren't a poor side. Um you know we 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 drew twice with Ipswich and, and to be fair again a bit like the Leeds game we made them look a bit average for most parts of the game and then they came back and equalized. So I just think the way we play sometimes does because we have so much of the ball um and I think that is Enzo's philosophy, if you like. You know, you have that much of the ball. Hopefully, you're, the opposition, you know, chances are limited. Um, so I think that's a that's a contribution, really. I think a contributing factor is is the fact that we do make teams look poor. But I agree in terms of Norwich. I don't think David Wagner got his tactics right at all. I think no, no. When they scored, to be fair to them, mate, when they scored against us, they did come for a second straight away. And um, and I think that is the right the right way to play against Leicester. I think we are at our, our most fragile after we've conceded. But um, but yeah, they weren't amazing, mate. Absolutely. So no. they might turn up. They've been on a good run, mate. Norwich until until that game. They've been on a really. Good, I, I think they were third in the form table or something silly like that. Yeah, yeah, they Joe. were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, they could turn up against Ipswich. I think it's uh, Ipswich are, are due a, a bit of a shocking result, mate. So hopefully That's that awesome, happens. Mate. But but if I was amazing. to go with my head, mate. I think Ipswich will get it done. Yeah, maybe wow. like a 2-1 a win or something like that. Hopefully if not a 97th minute winner. Yeah, yeah. If they do get through that and win that, considering their record, then at that point, I think they're done. What about Coventry leads me? I'm a little bit nervous about this one, although I do think we'll win. They got a draw at Ellen Road. Um, they were bloody... There was videos online of their players celebrating in the train station, singing songs, and all they got was a point, which was embarrassing for me. Um, so, yeah, I think... <laughs> It's going to be tough, though, and it wouldn't surprise me if we just got a point, if I'm honest. Coventry are scum, mate, right? Let me tell you this. I absolutely fucking hate them, right? They are so obsessed. They are so obsessed with Leicester fans. It is actually crazy. They're obsessed with Leicester. Um, loads of their fans saying when we when we played them in January, we got a red card and then we kind of bottled the, the lead and, and they won, right? Um, by the way, it was never a red card. It was it was Fatuu, and and then Dewsbury all should have had a penalty, and the ref, you know, decided to ignore that. But anyway, um, and they were saying, oh yeah, what's going to happen is Leicester are going to drop to the playoffs, and then we're going to beat them in the final, and all of this crap and whatever. But um, I, and the, did you see the two own goals? By the way, in no, no, no. did you see Liam no. Kitchen? Oh, my oh yeah, God. seen you... Liam Kitchen. Sorry, he used to play for Leeds. Him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shocking, mate. But um, yeah. but yeah. So <sighs> Coventry will probably open their legs for you, mate, because they know that it will uh, it will be a disadvantage to Leicester, mate. So you'll probably win four <laughs> nil. They I'll will probably that. open. They'll spread their legs for you, mate. But um, but uh, yeah, I think I think you'll win it, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you've got two, Birmingham. Two nil. You're winning. Yeah, Birmingham, I th yeah, we have to. We have to. Yeah, yeah we have to. 100%. If we lose that, then I'll be like, yeah, it's, it's game over. You know, it's, it's done. 100%. Done and dusted. It's so switched. according to Locks, it's maximum points for all the three. I think yes. Leicester, uh, sorry, I think Leicester and Leeds win, but Ipswich do drop points, which would put us two back in the top two, the rightful top two, if you like. Yeah, and then we'll be yeah. what five, five point four points ahead of Ipswich. Yeah. As much as we've got on each other's nerves this season, we need to come together, mate, and crush Ipswich. That's what we have to do now. Do you know? Yeah, <laughs> eight. I can't, can you? I'm just looking at the table again, mate. I mean, 87 Mad. points. It's it's last, actually crazy. 
the last time a team got like 90 plus points was Sunderland in 96, 97 and they didn't finish in the top two. So I think we're going to end up getting higher than that anyway because of the games we've got left. So like you say, I think you could be looking at 100 points and more maybe for some of us, right? I think all three. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I think that. all three. Well, 100 points are not yeah. going up, mate. It'd be like when Liverpool lost one game and lost the title to City. That's what it's going to oh, be like. Oh, bro. I feel so Wild. sorry for uh, uh, yeah. I feel to be fair. I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel sorry for myself, mate. If if, if it was Leicester, because I'd be like, it's what you fucking deserve for that yeah. that poor poor run, you know, in, uh, in what March, whatever. So, um, but if it was Ipswich or Leeds, I would actually say, you know, you know what, that is that's oh, I can't hard done me. to there. I'd be in high. I'll I'll hide me if we don't go up. I will hide me. Trust me. But it, if it's Leicester that don't go up, mate, the EFL will be creaming themselves, mate, because they don't want us to go up. <laughs> The EFL want us here next season so they can give us a minus 15 exactly. point fucking deduction, <laughs> transfer embargo. They want to see Leicester suffer. I know people will say, oh, do. why do you think they've got an agenda? But I truly believe they've got an agenda against Leicester City, mate. We will see. And you know what? It's because of 2014 that when we got promoted to the Premier League, we breached FFP then. I don't know if you know this. We breached yeah. FFP and we and they said, you need to pay us a fine of... I can't remember how much it was, like mm. 20 million or something. We were like, yeah, no worries. It's fine. It's fine. And yeah. so we fucked them off. But I think they've, and obviously we, we, we shafted them this season when they wanted our business plan and we were like, get lost. You know, we, we're not, we, we weren't even here last season. So um, I think they want us, I think they want us in the league again, mate. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But, uh, we shall see. We shall see. Anyway, folks, that's it for title talk this week. Big up to Lox for coming on. Make sure you check him out at Leicester City Fan TV and to Forcey Nation TV for all your F1 needs. Uh, I'll put the links to both of them in the description. Thank you very much for coming on, Lox, and good good luck this weekend, mate. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Yeah, fingers crossed. Um, you know that if we drop points, I will be raging and you'll be getting a lot 100%. of uh, WhatsApp messages from me, yeah, which yeah. I'm sure you'll read out on stream. Hundred <laughs> percent. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, you're not gonna get you're not gonna get kind of hyped up locks for at least another couple of weeks. If we win yeah. if we win every game over the next couple of weeks, then I might be back. But for now, yeah. I'm just gonna try and stay level headed. And, I'm gonna try yeah. to as well. I'm gonna try yeah, yeah. to. But if we beat Coventry, I'll be the same. We're going up. <laughs> I tell you what, I do find funny, mate. I saw in your comments on your on your stream yesterday, a lot of people were saying because I think I said like Leeds will win the title, no problems. Leicester third. And everyone's saying, oh, Locks is playing mind games with himself. I'm like, well, don't we all at some point, you know? Yeah, don't we all? True. So we'll we see. <laughs> see you later, folks. Cheers.